All right, that's more like it. Bloody hell, Leos. Let's see. Fours. Now, each of the suits has their own reason for why at the four we stop, right? And I always think the most stuck out of these stuck cards is the four pentacles. It's the most stuck. We'll talk about that in just a moment, though. Because have a look at this. And I know why you're doing this, but the four of cups is considering options that do shit all for you. They do nothing for you. If he's got three cups around him and it's the, the obvious truth is if those cups meant anything to him, if he was at, at all, you know, if they found any of them appealing, he'd grab one of them. He wouldn't be sat there looking bored out of his head, right? He doesn't want these because he wants that one. The magical, glowing, amazing cup. So why is he not looking for that? Has he given up on that dream? Does he not think it's happening? Does he think that he has to put up with the cups that are in front of him, the options that are in front of him? Well, I feel that this guy or you guys are, limit, and it's general, so it can go both ways, are limiting your options, limiting your options based on this. Four of Pentacles, comfort zone. Now, that might be either, because this can go, it's either I don't have anything to risk. Like, I can't risk this. So I'm going to play it safe. I think that's playing it safe options because that would take more of a risk. But you don't want those. The same with him. So he sat there holding on to what little security and stability he has. But he can't have more while he does that. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And that's the four of pentacles, very simply put. If you're happy with what you have, if you truly don't have anything to give, emotions, money, you know, time, whatever, your own resources. Think of this as your resources. If you don't have anything to give, then you don't have anything to give. That's fine. But you can't be, you know, holding on to that and not wanting to venture anything, not wanting to give anything, but then still expect something back because it doesn't work that way. He won't lose what he has. He won't lose what he has. The four say that. Nothing will change. Nothing will shift. Take a pause. And it's valuable. You know, we all need to pause at some point and think, well, what, what am I doing here? And I kind of feel like this, I mean, it doesn't have to be new options. I say that with the Four of Cups, if because it usually comes up when people come to me and say, should I do X, Y, and Z? Should I do whatever? Which there's no such thing as a should. And I would say to them, well, if you liked any of them, wouldn't you just do it? But you're afraid at what it's going to cost you to do it. So there's that, first of all. But the fact I'm jumping ahead, the fact that the hangman is underneath it, it might be that you're in a situation that was good enough, initially you know it called to you emotionally it looked like something that you were ready to commit to long term and yet now it's like yeah i don't know i'd love to have a new cup do i even love this anymore have you started to see it from a different perspective has your world been flipped upside down are you still trying to make that square peg fit in the round hole and the re i mean the reason i'm saying that you were committed you've got the ten of pentacles here coming up as the past this is the legacy card. This is a long-term security and stability. We, this is, it takes, it's the work of a lifetime to achieve this. We know it's going to take time. We know, you know, um, to have that relationship, to have that career. We need to put in the years. We need to put in the effort. We're committed to achieving this, the business. And yet there is a, there's a real lackluster kind of, meh, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't feel it around this. So what do you feel? What do you love? You have the lovers coming up at the heart of this. The lovers. And, the, you know, it's interesting because you have, this is the card for Gemini. There's the card for Libra. So kind of ear energy, right? But we don't actually have any swords coming up here. But there's still this kind of thing of, with the lovers coming up. Because your heart knows. Your heart knows what it wants. And yet, or how it wants to feel. Because a lot, a lot of people say to me, I don't know what I want. Okay, at a very basic human level, we want to feel loved and loving and connected. And it's not that we don't know what we want. It's we don't know. We don't know what that looks like in the outside world. That's what it is. When we say we don't know what we want or whatever, we know how we want to feel. And that's what the love is. It's where the heart's drawn to something. But I kind of get the sense that you, there's something that your heart wants, but you kind of either think you can't have it. Or you don't have what it takes to invest or work towards it. So you're trying to make these pieces fit here. But it's not working. 
Not when the lovers comes up. There's something big there. Big. But it's either at a distance or there's an obstacle. That mountain in the middle is very telling because it's an obstacle, right? To getting to what you want. But that's not the point of the lovers. We don't have to start moving towards it or figure out how to get it until we get to the chariot. That's the card after the lovers. The lovers is like, do you want, do you love this? Do you love this? Because your head's job is to figure out how to get you to that. That's why the head and heart are balanced with the chariot. The head doesn't get to override the heart and say, no, we don't, we override the heart, sorry, and say, no, 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 that's not for us. The heart knows what it wants. But it kind of feels like you're trying to do something and your heart's not in it. And oh my God, that's the, that is the saddest thing. When a Leo's heart is not in something, because when your heart's in something, you're going to go for it full force. And there's that, the sun. I'm not saying ditch it. I'm not saying end it. I'm not saying leave it behind. None of these cards say that. But it's how it feels. It doesn't feel. And that might be for a number of reasons. There could be something going on with you. There could, you know, when's the last time you checked in with yourself? There could be that. Or you've committed to something, you've been on and just, it's like, I'm tired, you know, I've just been doing this for so long. I don't understand why I'm still doing this. There can be, like, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But the key thing here is the lovers. That's key, because that's central. Whatever's at the heart of the reading, it's what it revolves, what, you know, everything revolves around that. The focus is on that. That will fix everything. That will, you know, that gets you straight when you know what your heart wants. So what does your heart want, Leo? What do you really want? What do you really love? What are you drawn to? All the rest of the other stuff, that's incidental. Because you'll find a way to get to it. It'll, you'll be shown a way to get to it with the sun coming up. The thing with the Ten of Pentacles is, and I've said this, I think I said it to Cancer before you guys. Things can look great on paper. Things can make sense. You know, if I put in these hours in this job, or if I go and spend three years of my life studying for this, or this person's a doctor or a lawyer or you know they'd make a great partner and you know all of that that's amazing that's fabulous right except if your heart's not in it and it's okay you know if it's okay to want what you want because you want it that's a good enough reason and it's okay to not want what you don't you know what you don't want because your heart's not in it like you know that's either way it's perfectly fine they're valid reasons for doing and not doing things. But we force ourselves. I posted something on my Instagram story a couple of days ago where, you know, children do it all the time. And that's the thing with the sun, that childlike innocence. Children do it all the time. They, you know, they'll play a game and they're like, I'm bored now. I don't want to play this game anymore. And yet, where did we forget? How did we forget how to do that? How did we forget that, you know, oh God, this job sucks, but it's fine. I'm going to keep doing it because it keeps a roof over our heads. Now, I'm not telling you guys to just walk out of your jobs. But we don't even consider how we could make it happier. Trust me, I've done shitty jobs in the past. You have to do it, pay the bills, right? But then it's shifting your focus to what, what, why do I do it then? What is my love? Why do I do this? Yeah, the love of having a roof over your head. The, right of, the, the love of, you know, providing for your family. The love of the dream. I'm saving up for that dream home. That's the focus then. But this feeling when you get two fours here. It's the walls coming in on you. The walls coming in on you. I'm just going to say it though. You know with that four of pentacles. That is that nothing ventured. Nothing gained. If you stay here things won't change. Things won't change. Nothing changes. The four of pentacles says that. This guy would have to go in. Well, I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, but, you know, this person would have to go and spend the pentacles, invest them, do something with them. All of it is a risk. And it has to be a calculated risk on your part, if it's worth it or not. That's why it's so important to look at, well, how badly do I want this? How much do I love this thing? And so things might be paused right now. That's where the hangman's coming up in the present. The hangman is the I believe card. What do you believe? What do you believe? Are you okay with this? Are you okay with this? Do you believe that that's all you're worthy of? Those three cups. You're not worthy of that one? You don't deserve that one? You don't think you'll get that one? And any answer you give is the correct answer. Why do I say that? Because you're the narrator of your life. You know, when people tell me I can't do it, Jay, I believe them. I believe them. It's not going to happen for me. Absolutely true. I believe you. Because you believe that. You believe that. 
You're the one that sees the world, experiences the world through your own filter. No one else can tell you differently. No one has the right to tell you anything differently. But things are paused right now for you, Leo. And it's something like flipped. Everything's flipped on its head. And it's like, have a look at it now. Have a look at it, Leo, for a second. Do you still love this thing? And it's that review. And it's very important this week to look at what it, why do you love this? Why are you in this situation, especially if you're feeling stuck? Is it in line with your beliefs? What do I believe about myself, about abundance, about success, about who I am? What I bring into the world? What are those stories that I tell about myself? Very key, especially with the hangman coming up. Why? Because when you believe something, when you believe something, that is going to dictate the action that you take. It's going to take the dictate. You know, if that... Um, I believe in, oh, I don't know, whatever. I can't even think of an example. Um, I believe in the tarot, right? I be, Or no, no, I don't believe in the tarot. Say it's like, you know, what, what do I believe? I believe in this is all crap. The tarot doesn't exist, blah, blah, blah. Then why the hell am I sat here doing tarot readings? Do you see what I mean? The belief, it inspires the action. And that's where you get that disconnect then. So sometimes we need to take a step back. For sure, am I stuck? What do I love? What do I believe? How can I turn my ship or the car in that direction to go in that direction? That will help you to feel unstuck. It's very key. This is a change in philosophy. Some of you are going through a massive shift in what you do believe. In your spirituality, in how you see the world, in how you see relationships, in how you see jobs. And, you know, this at one time would have been, wow, that's going to survive me. That's going to be a testimony to that I came on this earth. You know, my footprints in the sand are going to be this. And yet that now has become a noose. And it's like, well, no, it, that doesn't have as much meaning for me. I feel stuck. And like I said, it's going to be individual for each of you. Now, by doing that, what happens? What happens? Justice. Justice happens. Justice is, a, I always see it as the making and the breaking of contracts. That's why it's both the divorce card and the marriage card. Because that's what it is. And how do we do that? By balancing the scales. Balancing the karmic scales truth through the truth as well sorry i was got distracted there for a moment i was looking up at the lovers card for a moment um what's going on here are you giving equal weight to both that's the i mean the lovers they're the yin yang they're the twins they're the two halves of a whole Fem feminine masculine dark light that's what the lovers is and it's it's an illusion that they're separate they're two halves of a whole and it's about bringing those two together. It's about bringing together the shoulds and the coulds. How can you make this work for you? And that's what this is. I feel like this week you'll see a way. We'll flip everything around. And it brings that balance in. Truth comes in. If, you know, if you haven't been able to get to what you love, who you love in the past, with justice coming in, this is making amends. This is being able to see things from both sides, you know, seeing both sides of the story now. Collaborating with other people I sometimes see as well with that. The sun coming in as your advice is saying, look for the potential for happiness. Look for the potential for happiness. How it makes you feel. Because with the Ten of Pentacles, and think about it, the Ten of Pentacles, that, how does that cycle start with the Ace of Pentacles? Which is very similar to the sun, actually. But the Ace of Pentacles is where we see the potential for long-term security and stability. But is that enough? Is that enough? Think of the worst job in the world, the worst job in the world, right, that you would never do. And yet I told you that, you know, if you did that every day, every day for the rest of your life, you know, everyone else would be provided for. You'd have the house that you want, whatever. Some people might say, yeah, that's worth it for me because you would focus on what you would get out of it. Right. But for a lot of you, it wouldn't be enough. It's like, well, no, you know, I I can't do, live like that. The present is the point of power. And I kind of get that sense that some of you have been committed to things or doing things because they look good on paper. But on the inside, some of you have just been like shriveling up and it's like, oh God, no. Like the Leo in you is giving out, is giving way, is like, what? I've been reminding Leos for the last two weeks to be Leos. One of my Leo friends calls me a Leo, a Leo enabler. Why? You guys are born to be divas. Diva does not settle. If you want those white flowers and the white walls in your dressing room, that's what you should get, Leo. At least ask, right? At least ask. 
So it's about remembering who you are. Remember, and that's what comes from, what do I love? What do I believe? Because that's who we are. If I say, who are you? Some people will give their name, their gender, their country they live in, what they're citizen of, the job that they do. But who we are at a core are the things that we love, the things that we believe. That's who we truly are. And it's that part of you that brings balance in. Justice in, especially if there's been an injustice. And you do that by seeing the potential, of, you know, the emotional potential. I'm going to get one for that hanged man. The star. Now, interesting fact, whenever you get the star and the sun in the same spread, especially for those of you that are in the light, you know, whatever, if this is a career reading for you, it doesn't even have to be. We can apply these energies everywhere. Especially when we get major arcana cards, like one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards. A big turn in the road in our lives. Whenever you get these two, that is the spotlight. That is your star rising. So if you're looking for recognition, if you haven't been seen or, you know, um, that can change. That can change when these guys come up. But not automatically, only if we're following what we pursue. I always say this, do what you love. You commit yourself fully to what you love. You will always be recognised for it. It will always shine through. Your love for what you do, for your craft, for your job, it will always shine through. But yeah, we all go through this. I go through this. I love what I do, but I go through this sometimes, questioning, am I doing the right thing? Does it make me happy? And it's good to do that because then we recommit to it more. But I kind of see for you guys, it's about, with the star coming up here, the hope that comes from a new beginning. What is hope? What is healing? Do you have a new dream? That's what this pause is asking you to look at. Whether the, the answer is different now from what it was a week ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. It needs to be asked at this time. What do I love? What do I even want? What brings me hope? What brings me healing? What do I believe? about myself and once you do that then you'll see it someone said to me this morning actually they said to me um that nothing ever changes which i don't believe i don't believe but that energy might show that they said nothing ever changes and i didn't say anything because i always let people just ex express because that from their point of view they're absolutely right but in my life all i see is change everything's always changing but that's the key po point right and so they said that, you know, I can't manifest anything. I can't change anything. Nothing ever changes. And the answer to that, if you're feeling like that, is we, it changes by when we change it within ourselves. That's why this hangman is so key. You know, people think the hangman is stuck. Nothing changes and you just hang around waiting for things to change. It's giving you a chance to change. It's giving, it's giving you, you a chance to let go of, remove something that your ego identifies with. I'm not, I don't hate the ego. I think it's amazing and we need it to know who we are. <coughs> Excuse me. But some of us might have been identified by the money that we earn, the car that we drive, the home that we have, the person that we're dating. And it's like, that doesn't even mean anything to me if I'm not happy, if I don't feel loved, if I don't feel like, wow, my heart is calling me to this. If I don't see the potential in it, if it doesn't bring me hope. Those are the key things. Those are the key things. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. And let's go back to that Four of Cups. It's there. The Ace of Cups is there. The potential for emotional happiness is there. But sometimes it might be all around. But that doesn't ch If we're only focused on one thing, if we're only looking one way or, you know, coming through and we're, going, we're not going to see any other way. And so in that sense, the hanged man is broadening your perspective. There's more than one new beginning. There's so many stars in the night sky. Which one do you pick? Have you been following someone else's star? Does that star even have meaning for you? Why do we pick the star? Because that's our true north then. We know what to follow. It guides us. It leads us to whatever it is that we want. And the sun is about clarity. So this is about really clearly looking at a situation. The sun reveals everything to us. Everything. Good, bad, ugly, obstacles, paths around. It's like a bird's eye view of the maze that we're stuck in. Now, it might show you at first when the lights come on, the shit that's there. So you're like, all right, cool. Well, that needs to be cleared out. 
What are you not seeing, Leo? That's what I mean. It's a stupid question because if you bloody saw it, you could tell you you wouldn't need a reading like this, right? You wouldn't need it if you could see it. But you got Treasure Island. Treasure Island is saying to you that you know you have the map to the Treasure Island. You have the map. You know, it X marks the spot and all the rest of it. But does that map mean shit if you? Don't go on the island. You can't identify where X is. And you don't dig up the treasure. If you do this. Th that stuck feeling. That action always needs to be taken, right? As so a treasure island is, keep your eyes open. And remember, it's our choices, our actions that turn fate into destiny. We want change. We must change. If we want new experiences, that I talk about this one, my own manifestations. When I want new experiences, I ma I experience life in a different way. I start looking at the same situations and relationships and trying to see them from a different perspective. That's the first change that we that we can initiate ourselves when we look at something differently. And there is a way around this. And you might be listening to this at the beginning of the week thinking, Jay, I have no bloody idea what you're talking about. Not with that. Not that's just stuck. Options are limited. I don't have anything to give to this. Oh yeah, that's gonna change. Star in the sun. Star in the sun. Treasure map. You have that treasure map. Let's see how many came up. You got. It's got two. All right. So it might be for two different sets of you, or we'll see if they work together. But here we go. Dearest you, we need you to know that you can change. Oh bloody hell, see. We need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right. It's never too late. Forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own. You don't need to what you don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others. And that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. And that's so true. And that's justice. Think about it. This is when the judgment call gets made. That's where justice comes in. And justice is like, okay, yeah, cool. This is what we do to, to make amends, to bring balance. And sometimes how do we, ba we don't need other people. We don't need a court of law to do that sometimes. It can be about forgiving ourselves, uh, you know, forgiving ourselves. Yes. And forgiving other people, not to condone, but to free ourselves. So you're free to go frolic in the sun and go for the dreams that you want. Very stuck energy right now. The other one says, dearest you. We have a secret to share with you. If you act as if all is well, it will be. Act as if you are brave and you will have courage. Act as if you are loved and you'll be a magnet for love and experience the love of spirit. Act as if your prayers have been answered, as if you are truly in sync with good fortune. How you think is how you will see the world. Interact with it and draw conclusions from it. If you want to be the person who has the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours, you need to start acting as if that were truth. Don't worry about the conditions in your life that seem empty or cavernous, chaotic or barren. These are temporary and don't even count. Defy them and act as if you're the luckiest person on the planet. You will be, you will be for you already are. That's the real secret. You are infinite potential. Loving you so much, rainbows explode in the ether. And guys, that's the whole thing of the belief. What do you believe? <coughs> Excuse me. What are the stories that we tell ourselves? Where do you feel like I should do this? Where do you think like I'm stuck doing this? Because if you're only focused on the bindings that you see around your ankle, then you're not looking for the exit. You're not looking for the escape. You're only looking at what's keeping you trapped. So that would be one change of perspective. But yeah, amazing reading. I love it. I mean, when you get the star in the sun, that is amazing. That is bloody amazing. And you've actually missed a step there because we've got... The star is number 17. The sun is number 19. The moon is our fears and doubts. That's not there. It's almost like we go from seeing the, following the dream to finding a way to get to it. That's the sun. Everything opens up. The sun, the sun comes out. We see everything. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But only if we're looking. Only if we're looking. 